Hey Miles, so I see you're, um, you've implemented uh, talk um, in player, um, but it seems like you're not switching rooms. What I noticed is that you have, um, you're, you're keeping track of the current room in, in game. <clears throat> you have a, a uh, current room uh, field in um, player and you have um, you know enter room and get room and all that but um, it doesn't look like you're making any use of it so what happens is your um, the game knows what room the player's in but the player doesn't know what room he's in and and really for um, um, you probably remember this section on responsibility driven uh, classes and stuff like that. Um, the responsibility for knowing what room he's in should reside with the player. The player should know what room he's in. So why don't we um, set that up in here. So what we want to do is actually this this um, current room um, field should be moved completely out of the game class and should be tracked in the player class. And the way that we do that is uh, um, you, you um, do need to um, do some assigning of the current room and some you know getting of the current room here in the game class but we can do that by external calls to the um, player class. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So basically the two things we need to do with the current room is we need to um, set what the current room is, uh, enter the, the current room, and we need to um, retrieve the current room to, to get the current room, right? So if we look at where we, the, the two um, methods that we have for doing that are enter room, okay, which is where we, you know, set the, the current room, and then get room. Okay, where we find out what the what the current room is. So let's go back into game and see where we're um, setting the value of the current room. So if we do a find on current room and we go here. So right here we're saying current room equals trunk. So what we want to do there is we want to set the player equal to the or, or we want to set the current room, or, you know, have the player set the current room. I think that what I, the way I want to do this is just to um, um, make sure that things are done in the right order and everything. Probably the cleanest way to do this is to have uh, create rooms actually, re whoops, actually return the current room. Okay, so we make this have a return type of room and then just return trunk. And then that way in the, in the constructor where we're actually creating the player, that's where we can um, uh, set the, you know, have them enter the room. So we'll say room. Uh, I'll just say room, room equals create rooms and then um, I'll have player dot I'm going to use dot notation for an external call um, 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 enter room okay I'm, so I'm calling this um, method here okay so I call that with a room and that sets the current room right there Okay, so let's see. Uh, where else do we have current room in here? So here's another place where we have current room, but in this case, we're not assigning a value to current room. We need to get, find out what the current room is so we can get the long description on it. So what we can do with this one is we can replace it with get room. Okay, so here's our get room method. And boom, boom, boom. Oops. Okay.
do like this. Okay, so now we're we're getting the uh, the current. Oops, we're getting the current room according to the player, and then we're getting the long description on that. And what's next? Okay, here again we want to say get current room. Actually, player dot get current room, right? Is that what I did? I do that the last time? Oh, maybe not. Let me see. Previous next. Oh, no, let me see where I, where did I write get room before? Get room. Hmm. You know, it might be better. Do you have already? Go. No. Okay. So where I said go room, that really needs to be player dot get room. Okay. Because we're we're making we need to make an external call to the player, right? Did I say player dot enter room? I hope so. Yeah. Okay. And so let's let's. Continue then looking for current room. Okay, so this one needs to be player dot get room. Any more of those? Okay, I'm just going to say copy and paste. And Next. Okay, here again, we're just accessing it. We're not uh, setting it. So we're just doing a get room. Remember, when we're if we're setting it, that's when we needed to call um, enter room, like right here. So here we're assigning a value to current room. So here we want to say, uh, uh oh, here we want to say player dot enter room. Okay, and here we can paste that value in again. All right. Next, any more? That's the only one left. Okay, good. We can get rid of this one. Compile. And what do I do here? Oh, I left out a parentheses. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So now, the um, the only place the current room can be is in in player. So when you call talk from the player, then if we did this right, then the um, current room is correct. I'm going to just auto layout too. Okay. All right. So now the the current room should be correct. So let's see. Compile new game. Okay. Play. And if I say talk, I'm sorry, but I will only reward you if you bring me popcorn first. Let's just make sure that was the right one here. Uh, talk. Um. Okay, well, it looks different from what we had before. Before it was there's nobody here to talk to. So I think that's, I think we, we're uh, on the right track. So I'll let you test out and see um, if, it's, if it's giving the right responses. Um, and it should be a different response if we change rooms, right?
Okay, so I guess there's nobody in this room or something like that. But anyway, I'll let you, uh, like I said, uh, test it out. And uh, if there's still problems with it, then uh, shoot me another email. Let me know what the problems are, and we'll look at it some more.